Welcome, Michelle D. Yeah! Yeah! Michelle Marquez D. And yet, why is there always a Marquez? Well, of course, when I was deciding, one, there are so many Michelle D's in the Philippines. That's true. We there have are so many known DIY. Michelle D's. Oh, oh. And of course, I didn't want to choose one or the other. I, I love both of my parents so much. So I really wanted to carry both names, Marquez, D. Oh, wow. You were three years old and then they split up. So then did you leave for the States? Uh, actually, I was so young. I, I, I can only remember fragments of this whole experience. I just remember that my mom and my dad, they were going through a custody battle. Mm -hmm. And then uh, so we could get away from all of the press, all of the drama that was going on, the tabloids. My mom decided to take my sister and I to the States without my dad knowing. Okay. So one day we just disappeared for about eight years. And your stepfather went, got into your mom's life. How yes. old were you then? I think around the same time, if I'm not mistaken. I'm the, I think... I'm the hair Miss International. <laughs> <po> <laughs> <talaga> <laughs> so, Beauty Queen, she was Miss yes. International. Were you very aware that she was Miss International? No, no. I actually didn't know that she was famous or iconic until I finally visited the Philippines again since that eight, ten year hiatus in the States. And then I was like, oh, I, I clearly remember my mom being this ranch girl, very, very into nature, like just what I saw growing up. And then uh -huh. lo and behold, when I went to the Philippines, piglang, oh, she's so famous pala. <coughs> so, I didn't know, I didn't know she was the Melanie Marquez. I didn't know she was an actress, an iconic supermodel, all of that. So how did that affect you when you found out your mom was famous? I thought it was really cool, of course. I mean, I, I didn't know at the time that I was so passionate about creativity uh -huh. until the moment I actually got my first camera from my dad. Oh, uh, and then, of course, seeing cool. my mom acting in front of the camera, doing shoots and all of that, I found it so interesting. I would cut classes and my mom would actually be the cause of that because I wanted to watch her on set, at the shoots. All of that, I super So what, when it. you go at home, you copy your mom in front no, of the mirror? No, <laughs> I think I'd be the opposite. I'd be the one taking her photos. I, I mean, really I, enjoyed behind the look, scenes yes, for yes, yes, yes. Well, I Loved know observing. people like Sam's your classmate, and she said yes. you were not at all a beauty queen type person in no, school. No, I was not. Okay, so I'm like, yeah, they can transform it, it, was, it was actually during college that I was uh, like, okay, you know what, I, I really want to make more money. And then you uh -huh. assess yourself, assess the opportunities, and the fastest opportunity for me was actually to get into modeling. Something that I can do while I was studying. How old were you then? Oh, how old was I? How old were we, Sam? 20, 20 no, okay. maybe 19, uh -huh. 20. At that time, I was already transitioning from mm -hmm. being too masculine to whatever. I was just, I was self-aware that I did not have the physique to be a model yet. I was still very chubby. Like you were chubby. Thirty pounds, thirty pounds <laughs> before, but just chubby. I but had you were this height. height. This height, yes, yes. But yes. chubby, chubbier, okay. very round face. You, yeah, I was, I was. <laughs> so what is with you guys? So you were guys were at that time you were not at all physically conscious. You were no, you into sports? I, I was into sports before college. Mm. Um, I've always been very athletic and everything, but I just chose not to join any varsities for college. Oh. Just wanted to focus on my studies. Psychology. No. Are you honor, honor student? Ka ba? Hindi. <laughs> <laughs> I excelled in the classes where I had the scariest prof. Uh, so, for major so subjects. The way I, to inspire you is to scare you. Yes, actually. Because okay. I'm very competitive like that. Um, the more challenging it is, the more inspired I am to do better. Okay. Well, going back to those days, you say you were boyish. Mm -hmm. Is it also when you realized? Because you're the first. Miss Philippines Universe, of course, that's admitted to being bisexual. So when did you find out that Bea. you were... Uh, Bea also. Oh, I but know. Is... Sorry, Bea. But she's... Uh, I'm the first one to come out as bisexual. She came out as lesbian. Yes. yes politically different. Man. When did you realize that you were attracted to both male and female? Uh, I don't think it was ever a question in my head. It's just at a very young age, I really noticed the attraction between, not attraction, but just I appreciated the beauty of both men and women. Okay. But I, I wouldn't say that I labeled myself at such a young age. Mm -hmm. It was only, I think, when I was in college that I started thinking about it, maybe mm -hmm. in high school. Well, talking about being attracted to both, frankly, I don't think you've had a relationship in how long? <laughs> uh, <Odd>. uh, <laughs> Okay. Okay. Um, my last serious committed relationship, I believe, was in 2019. 
2019, 2020 that ended right before I competed for my international pageant. Was it a Miss long Wood. relationship or just a yeah, short? A year. A year. My a brother's year. laughing. He knows all about it. He knows all. Was it with a woman or a man? <laughs> a, a guy. A guy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then after that, I, I dated a series of both, both genders. I don't know anything about this. So uh -huh. I'll ask you because you told me. I said, Sana, you said you're lesbian, na lang. remember? I told you that. Uh -huh. And you said, why? But I'm really attracted to beauty, yes. beauty in any sense. Yes, right? yes, and yes. And I said, okay, but I'm sure having a relationship with a man mm -hmm. and a woman are different? Or is it really just the person inside? Different and... expectations, different experiences. Mm -hmm. okay. For sure. I think I... How do I define this, Ba? Without insulting all men. <laughs> Okay. I think obviously it's just more it's just more effortless when it's with women. Mm. But of course with men your expectations are a bit different also. I've never dated an actor. Okay. Um and there are reasons why I don't like dating actors. But again, when you date a guy that doesn't understand how show business and the industry works and there's a lot of insecurities, jealousy, all of that. With women it's at least for the women that I've dated, it's it's different. They mm. understand you more emotionally, what you're going through, what you go through every month, you get the whole cycle. You know, it's just it's just more, I guess, peaceful. But again, I don't have a preference. I really just look at the chemistry, how we both fit in each other's lives. Stuff well, like talking that. about that, everyone's saying that you're with Miss Thailand. Oh I saw you, you said it's not true. Uh -huh, but is there an not. attraction physically? I Thailand? mean, there's no doubt that she's gorgeous, of yes. course. Drop dead gorgeous. She definitely deserves to be Miss Universe Thailand. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why she won Miss Super Na Supranational. Uh -huh. But I mean, anything other than that, no. There's no uh, next level, it's next just, level relationship. Of course, that's that's respect that she also has a very good, strong, long-standing relationship. Well, yes. okay. So the other cheese me is I'm gonna ask you, and I okay, know the answer this? already. Rian Bato. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She's my wife. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go right there. She's my wife. <laughs> no, I know Rian. So Rian's kind of related to me, and you know Rian's always been, of course, very beautiful and attractive, and all the guys would just go after her, and she, because she's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Do you have this problem that girls don't really want to be your friend because you're too beautiful or you're too intimidating or? But I, I've had a problem with people thinking I'm intimidating, for sure. <laughs> okay, but. I don't think that that's a reason for them not to want to and be no, friends. But Rianne went after you. I mean, not as as not a as like thing, that. Yeah. But she said, "I really want to be friends with Michelle." I think I felt. I really and felt I, the I same watch way. the dynamics between the two of you. It's the most supportive and loving yes, relationship. Yes, it is. But it's friendship, lang po. Mm -hmm. So it is, drama it is. with that. I mean, uh, she is my wife on social media. We live together, like. Wives you do. Know, I asked her, "Why do you live with Michelle? D? Why did you choose?" You know, what she said. Because I can stay with her and just be quiet. Exactly. But then you understand each other so well mm -hmm. that it doesn't have to be constant truth. Yeah, wah, wah, you don't wah, wah. have to be entertaining each other, taking care of each other. Sometimes if when you're in the presence of somebody that really just truly wants the best for you or also can be in your presence without even annoying you, I mean, that's enough, honestly. I mean, so, we have such a peaceful relationship. We haven't even fought once. Wow, and that's And uh, that, that's, that's an amazing indication <laughs> that you're living with the right person. Do you person. get to approve her boyfriends and stuff like that? Do you, get, do you give your opinion? I, I'd like to believe that my, my opinions about her life decisions matter and okay. count. It has some sort of gravity because she also knows that I have her best interests at heart. Right. Okay. Just like how I listen to whatever she tells me also. Just like today I asked her, how does this look? And she was like, yeah, okay, if you approve, then I approve. Oh, you know, okay. that kind of, of relationship. So of course, she has had boyfriends in the past that I didn't get to experience. Mm. And the one that I had the most experiences with her recent one, Eski, yeah. of course. What do you think of that? I think they've grown tremendously and as <laughs> okay. long as she is happy, I am happy also. She's very well taken care of. Uh, she's very, oh, yeah. I know, I see that. She's really spoiled yeah. and I love the way it's a no, but of course. To be fair, Sahanya though, she she doesn't actually like receiving material things. Okay, as, as so Rianne, this is one thing about her. She hates receiving material She things. hates it. It's so <laughs> very hard to give Rihanna a gift, but she loves experiences, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. That's and so she true. loves being with her friends, but mm -hmm. when, you know, you cannot bribe Rianne, you cannot impress her with your money because no. it's not going to work it's not. and I think that's why this new well not new he's been around <laughs> a long time it's a little wow I know. are you impressed if they give you 
a car, if they give you beautiful fur coats, and I don't know, what are you into? I, I am not a materialistic person also, at all. It really has to be somebody that can help me grow as a person. Mm -hmm. As cliche as that sounds, it's hard, especially at my age now where I'm really thinking long term, I'm done with the whole playing around phase, that I just need somebody that I can call home. Somebody uh, I can feel safe with, somebody whose opinion I can trust. Oh, diba parang I'm describing Rian na. <laughs> no, um, just somebody I can call home. Okay. Of course, the material things. I mean, it's not really a, it's not really a factor for me. Mm -hmm. I can sustain myself. Are you looking for a relationship now? No, not actively. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this girl is so determined. I have never. I've talked to Diane, and Diane goes, "I am so amazed, at Michelle. I've oh. never seen anybody be so thoughtful." You know, I think, okay, so when you arrived, you mm -hmm. saw how much the Filipinos love you, right? But you, did you feel love before you went to Miss Universe Philippines? I, I felt a tremendous amount of love by my support system, of course. And I also had like a core support group, like my supporters, that really, that really amplified like what I was doing. They inspired me every day. Even though I was dubbed as one of the most bashed Miss Universe <laughs> Philippines after winning, I was able to win the hearts of the Filipinos through hard work and dedication and literal blood, sweat and tears. Wait, did that make you feel bad feeling. when people were bashing you? Because I remember after you won, people were saying, why is your walk like that? Why yeah, 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 So there yeah. were so many, what were they saying about you? The, they I were saying, uh, about, and I can't even count them, the amount of adjectives they've thrown at me. But of course, I'm one to really not care about bashers, the negativities. I don't scroll through it. I just have like, I would read it and not be affected. Because I have learned how to only listen to people that matter. Like your core group, the people that you know only have your best interests at heart. Marami kasing tao that really just throws their opinion for the sake of making you look bad so that their favorite person looks good. So, but I saw a very big difference. Thank I mean, you. okay, two years ago when you joined and it was Celeste, uh -huh. um, I didn't feel this kind of concentration. You were not... Siyempre kasi hindi ako nanal. No, no, even before that, para hindi ka mas, para may konting confusion yung mata mo. Right, right. And I saw it, I said, Michelle, are you okay? I'd, I'd even ask you, mm -hmm. then I remember, actually I was there during that happened, and then uh, after the Q&A, they said, she did, you didn't draw do so well. No, no. In the Q&A, and I said, but she's so eloquent, and she's so intelligent. I asked you what happened, and your answer was, I think I did okay. But looking back now, did you were you not focused at that particular time? Actually, to be quite honest, during Miss Universe Philippines 2022, mm -hmm. I think I was a bit too overconfident about my communication skills. Uh -huh. That it's that frustration knowing that I left one a very important aspect of your competition. In hindsight, I didn't really focus on it too much because I was like, okay, I have to improve my walk, my wardrobe, all of that. I'm, I'm a good speaker. I can answer anything. What I failed to do is master the art of getting my thought across in 30 seconds. Ah. Just finish beginning. But that the was finish. a blessing in this case. It was because when I joined again, I was like, every single aspect I will micromanage and perfect and train as But I wish you don't harder. share those secrets. Huh? Because maka everybody will follow you. Because look, your dresses so, were so well thought of, especially the the tattoo dress. Thank My you, gosh, it's you. so beautiful. Even thank your you. costume. I was wondering, what is she doing? It, that's not a national costume. But pala, you were part of the uh, army. Yes, um, yes. What do you call it? The Air Force Reserve. Civilian Reservist Reser for what the army. You joined that when? I've always wanted to join. They've known that I've always wanted to join. And then the opportunity came this year for me to do it. Ako naman, you know that I would do multiple things at the same time as oh. long as I can afford to do it. So oh. I really grabbed that opportunity. So you know how to fly a plane? No, that's not part of the Civilian oh, Air Force Reserve. Okay, program. what does an Air Force Reserve person Well, honestly, um, so it is a four month long process. You're training with my fellow batchmates, all of the all of the candidates this year. And it's Gravi, you really go down and dirty. I trained with the special forces also. It's like a forty pound. Oh my gosh, you like climb mountains, go on, you climb crawl mountains, crawl in dirt. The initiation actually was I don't know, can I say this? Well, Essentially, I could not exit the initiation if they saw a spot of white in my clothes. So you have to be covered in mud. Talaga. So you're not, you're not my art No, but this is just the training process to become a civilian Air Force Reservist. Okay. But of course, once you graduate, whenever there is like donation drives, medical missions, 
if there are calamities and they need we'll volunteers, then we'll be front, we'll be the frontliners for that. Uh, I mean, hopefully war never happens here, uh, but if it yes, does, pray. then we'd be the frontliners oh, no. for that also. Maybe they'll be able to give you a beauty, not to shoot them. I mean, the national costume concept did come from me, and then I just had to find the right team to execute that vision, which was Michael Garassi. What about Garassi. the tattoo that came from you also? That came from Mark. Ah, that came from Mark. Yes, Ang so no. eight sketches down the whole process of trying to figure out what we were going to wear, I was going to wear. Um, they presented to me like different sketches and they were like, can you come to the atelier tomorrow? There's one more design we want to show you. Wow. And it was this whole picture presentation of like Apo Wang O, the designs. As soon as I saw it, I was like, this is it. But I feel my hair standing. It's yeah, just so beautiful. because you know, the whole process, I hands down saludo to Mark Bumgarner and also to Earl, of course. It was both of them, that tandem, an amazing tandem. Grab and they're so sarap. young. Do you know Mark is what, 31? And he's been around for what? I, I mean, I, my wedding dress, my mm -hmm. dance dress, my Cinderella dress on the stereo of the opera was made by Mark. And that was already six years ago. Amazing. But he was already Mark Bumgarner six years ago at 25. Amazing, right? So he must right? have started at 21 or something. I mean, just, just the whole experience with Mark has been amazing. Of course, there was no question that I was going to work with him because I had such a good experience in Miss Universe Philippines ah. also. And, uh, you know, I really saw how dedicated and passionate they were for both of my gowns. Usually queens travel with a lot of backup gowns. Mm. I only traveled with two perfect gowns. Tara, right? yeah. That's what, you know, you're like that. Perfect gowns. Okay, can I just tell you, the first time I met you, well, not the first time, because you said we met when you were 16. Yes, we did. But I remember... <laughs> Briefly. This, this girl, she came to the house with a friend, right? Mm -hmm. You and Max. Yes, yes. And that was the day that I got my YouTube 1 million Was it one or two? It was only one. Okay. Unless it was TikTok one. where I got two. But anyway, I so I look two. at the two of them and I go, can you dance with me because I have to celebrate my whatever. And she said, sure. And then and there was so much drama and after. And there was so much drama after. <laughs> then I said, wait, wait, are you with, are, but you're, are you with Derma Clinics? And uh -huh. you said you were with someone. And mm -hmm. so I said, baka magalit si Mayo. And I go, no, we're just dancing naman. So, yeah. And then imagine again. And because it was in her personal account. It wasn't in the... Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't in, in the, the Bella Beauty Bello account. account. Anyway, I'm sorry I got you into trouble. But that you didn't get me into trouble. I mean, you were a sponsor for Miss <laughs> Universe at that time. I was also a candidate, so oh, I'm so, fine. Okay. So tell it's them more what we've done <laughs> <laughs> she will share her journey, Bella journey, with, right. with you know, for Miss You. To begin with, I have to say, I, I thought you were, you know, you're so nice when you talk, but when you come in, you you have a problem like my problem. What's my problem? What's your Resting problem? Resting bitch face. I worked on it though. I mean, I honestly. Know you hardly smile huh? when you go to the clinic. Only when you talk, you smile. But when you enter, you're not smiling. So, looking at you like, and then you're so nice. So, I, did they thank tell you? Because in you. Miss Universe, I was all always smiling. Always smiling. I was so all pretty. smiles. I mean, I was definitely enjoying, but I, I did realize that I had that RBF problem. Oh. Um, and I had to address that because I really wanted people to see me for who I am the, the caring, such a loving darling. personality. Um, and the first step is to, to smile so that people <laughs> approach you. So yeah, I had an amazing team that really like gave me a lot of shit for, <laughs> for not doing my part in that aspect. That was the number one thing because she doesn't look friendly. Anyway, so you came to Bello, you almost look perfect. So what, did you, you. what were your worries then? I mean, honestly, my biggest insecurity was really like my, my stubborn fat around my abdomen. Wait, is it true you're so macaco? Rianne told me I, she's very macaco. Rice, I rice. would lose weight in the US. I would gain weight here in the Philippines because the Filipino cuisine is my absolute favorite. So we're having Filipino food tonight. Perfect. <laughs> okay. And of course, you can't have Filipino food without rice. <laughs> so I eat, uh, thank God, for for Body by ALS. Of course, they send me keto rice that tastes like regular rice. So okay. I've, I've substituted it for the competition. But as soon as I got that, grab it. Rice again. Rice kagad, adobo, sinigang, all of my favorite Filipino food. They gave it to me and I was like, yes, yeah. thank God. Well, Annie, what but, yeah. they did with you was, what did you do on your tummy tum tum? -tum? Okay. Okay, my tummy tum tum. Um, I did. I did a lot actually. Thermage for the body. Thermage for the face. Uh -huh. I also did M sculpt. Yeah, your face is a little bigger, right? Yeah. And so the thermage really pantai. helped. So I told them please put more pulses on the side. Yes, this is a little yes. bigger. And it's so and then, perfect. Now. And then you told me that it's because I probably sleep on one side most of the time, and she was right. So I do usually sleep on my left. So kapag 
like that. So now you sleep like this. Now I Everybody sleep like this. Sleep like this. <laughs> okay. I sleep like I this. I think you did V contour here. I did V contour. Your chart. On the um, I did <laughs> on the the what M was the injections that you did here. Ah, uh, NCTF or NCTF. Profilo. Yeah, something. I did something for my eye bags. That was the uh -huh. the NCTF. NCTF to lift you because you have Correct. a little. Your yeah, eye, yeah. Or your eyelids are a little heavy. Yeah, I guess lack of And that sleep. really helped with with Make my under fresh. eyes. And then your of butt. Course. I want to. M sculpt for my butt. <laughs> I know. Did you see how it worked? Yes, it did. I can You know, course. every time she comes to the clinic, because she's in a suit, shorts or shorts, lagging yes. pinapakita ang long legged. Thank you. <laughs> Pero. Lagi, ano, di ba? Mm -hmm. Para yung butt, I said, ako, eh, we need, need more of a butt. Did you I see really, how it It, it, it really did improve. I, I have to blame my genetics for this because my mom, my sister, myself, I think we all have problems with our butt area. It's just always so flat. But thank you because the M sculpt actually really did help me on that regard. You know, I've been doing squats for 20 years. Heavy weights, Ayaw oh, naman my knees, my butt didn't grow. M scalp, six sessions. Oh my gosh. Ang ganda, nakataas pa. Bilog na bilog. Pa. Bilog na bilog pa. Yes. Anyway, there are other things I suggested, but she doesn't, because her nose, a little on the side, on front it's good, but on the side it dipped a bit. I said, mm -hmm. let's bring it up, ayaw. Yes. No. Um, also your eyes, you, I said, can we put a fold? Ayaw then. <laughs> so Michelle is really all natural, except we needed a little help with the fat and stuff yes, like that. Yes, yes. ba? So I think, I mean, you really know what you want. That's what I noticed I with you. This yes. I like, this I don't like. Uh -huh. it's, it's just knowing what works like best in, for in myself. Life? I think I have to credit my mom and my parents for really teaching me how to stand for what I believe in. Mm -hmm. um, and that confidence just kind of radiates throughout my life. Oh. So if there's something that I just believe I don't need, then I just have to vocalize that. Right? Okay, okay. so now we feel bad. Everybody in the Philippines Why? feels so sad that you were oh, not included oh. in the... In the top five. Yeah. Because you had practiced, you know, frankly, at that point in time, it's about the QA. Yes. Right? And I, so, if you were to I truly that. believe in my heart, you would have oh, won. Thank you. Because the answer you you would have given is beautiful. Thank and you. because you're of so course. articulate. Yes. So, yeah, this is so. I know you've, they've already apologized. You did, you see. They, they'll never they apologize to me. Okay, directly, they apologize though. to the people. But yes, but not to me. Do you feel bad about that? I mean, I would have loved it, but I Did mean, I don't expect it. Did you know that there was a sign like that? Somebody told you you're in the top five. Okay, so the mm -hmm. the whole experience was after I didn't get called. It's like everything was turning dark. Um, I was walking backstage, like really processing. Oh my gosh, did I really not what get called? What did you think you were? Did you know you were? I good? believe that the gown deserved more recognition. So is it really just about the gown? Because they never this disclosed point? how they deliberated or how they scored to get no. into the top five. But it's called the evening gown competition. So it's the preliminaries that get you in the top 20. Then you do a swimsuit competition. So those scores get you into the top five, I mean top 10. Uh -huh. And then you do the evening gown competition. That gets you into the top five. Um, okay. And that gown, I mean, I don't know wow, how that gown did such a beautiful gown with so much meaning. Pa. Yes, Apu Wang Oh deserved all of that recognition. Mark Baumgartner deserved all of that recognition. And honestly, I don't know what I would have changed in uh -huh. my competition, in my in my. No, you were strong, hundred percent. Thank, thank you. Hundred ten percent. Thank you. No, it's just nakakahinayang lang because, of course, I was so prepared for Q and A, especially after hearing what the questions were. That is our warm up questions. Oh. I mean, those were our session one questions. They were easy. It was such they an were easy very question. Easy actually. questions. Yes. But just going back, I went backstage, I cried in the cubicle. But I heard I pretty said, cry, not real Pretty cry, cry. of course, pretty want? cry lang. Because I had to go back on stage and I didn't have the energy to retouch my makeup. So just like, iyak, iyak ng ganun. But I was telling my, I was apologizing to my oh, team. Oh, so sweet naman. And then, uh, you know, I went back to my cubicle and that's when I saw the screenshots. And I was like, it really messed with my head for a good few minutes. I was like, what? 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 But of course, if there was a Steve Harvey moment, then they would have done that on stage. Right. And again, I just want to clarify, I have nothing against who made it to the top five. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, we wish that of things course, were different. Then, because I think it would have been totally different. But yes. everything happens for a reason. Either a lesson God or a blessing. God has a reason. And the fact that you were chosen for Mexico. So I was wondering, how come she went to Mexico? She's I not knew about, the top actually, five. I was invited to go to Mexico even before I arrived in El Salvador. Ah. So I knew about that. And of course, being somebody that is very professional, I'm not gonna back out of an 
agreement just because the results didn't turn out my way. Okay. So I decided to. But to when stick they to chose the you for Mexico, did that give you an indication that Medjo, you're in the top? Because I suppose they chose only how many people to go eight, to Mexico. Eight delegates. So the top correct. eight delegates they chose to go to Mexico. I, I don't know if that was the top eight in their head. Maybe, uh, I mean, Miss Universe Skincare is a Filipino run uh, that's true. brand it's Olympia, also. That's right. I'd love to believe that they thought that I could help the brand in some way. I want to tell you how proud I am of you. Thank you show you, the world thank how you. classy Filipinos we are. are very classy. And how what a lady you were. I mean, I couldn't have asked for a better representative. I mean, it really made... But I see, we're so classy. Look at her. She's not at all disparaging anybody. Of She's course. always the brand. Thank you. Thank you for being that. Thank but of you. course, the most exciting thing I think now in the Philippines is your brother! I know! <laughs> so, um, people are asking me, her brother is so guapo. Uh -huh, and uh -huh. so, and, and you call him your baby brother, but he's, he's my baby. Abraham. Abraham, can you come here, please? <laughs> yeah, so I get this exclusive because Michelle's been giving everybody such interviews. So, uh, yes. this one, sure. Here, in Abraham. Yes. Hi, Abraham, come here. Hi. Oh, how are you? doing great. How are you? Oh, I'm great. How are you doing with this? Are you feeling it? This adulation that the Philippines finds you so handsome. Everybody's They're you calling know? him Prince Abe. Prince Abe? So they're really? calling me Queen MMD and Prince Abe. Oh, wow. Well, okay. Yes. So don't make me cuento naman. I want to know a little more about your family. Okay. I want to know. Okay. I heard that you are like the mom, actually the second mom of your family. Yeah, I mean, it's my sister and I that really, you know, I, I believe and he can he can attest to this that I believe my sister and I played a really big part in raising this boy. I taught him how to walk. Yes. Okay. And now well, he's my, a model. My, my <laughs> sisters were there for me when my mom my mom couldn't. They were my they were my mothers. Oh. And you know, I'm just grateful for that. They were part of my life when I needed them. Oh, and it's, is she strict? She is very professional. Oh. So. I don't think I'm. The, I don't think I'm the strict one. It's really my sister that's yeah. the more strict one. I am strict, but I always have a way of trying to get my message across. She's also strict with love. Yes. Actually. What does yeah. that yes. mean, love? So you, you, when you have girlfriends and stuff, she chooses. Oh, I don't know that yet. <laughs> okay, so he's a missionary, right? Uh, I was, yes. What does it mean you were? So you went to Chile? I just did a service for two years in the northern region of Chile for a while, um, helping people out, try to build homes, try to provide food and water, and doing what I can to make them feel a little better after all that they've been through, right? Um, it was a great opportunity, but, you know, I'm happy to be here now. Are you staying long? Everyone's asking. I'll be here till January. It's I just, not very long. We have to no. tempt him to stay longer. <laughs> you know, if you guys can get me to stay longer, I'll Are be you here. open to joining Showbiz? I'm sure. Has GMA approached him? Oh, yes. Sparkle. All have approached him, but they have to go through me first. Uh, you're the manager. Yes. Ma Mommyger. <laughs> I'm the attager. <laughs> so, do you want to get into Showbiz? I, uh, I mean, uh, he hasn't finished school yet. I mean, education will always be the number one priority, but as we do in the family, if an opportunity presents itself, then that's when we assess. How do you feel about it? There's no doubt that I'm closing the doors on all these opportunities. I definitely will jump to the first opportunity that I have on it. Abraham is, is trying to be very mature in this interview, but he's the biggest goofball. He's the biggest entertainer and the biggest no, comedian. No, no, she's not. Yeah, you're so serious. Yeah. She's, 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 trying, she's, she's so serious. He's trying to be so serious right now, but if you see him behind the scenes, he's the biggest goofball. Okay, give us some uh, secrets about what a goofball he is. Is she a goofball? No, no, she's she's always been the... I'm chill. Yeah, she's always been Before the chill Before she says one, any way. other adjective. Yeah. Okay, but I heard, I have a, I have a cheese miss, Marites about Michelle. She falls asleep so easily. Oh my gosh. In a party now, she's sleeping. And if you don't talk to her for like five minutes, she's sleeping. Uh -huh. Is that for real? I mean, quite literally, I visited my friend two days ago with the intention to catch up. I gravitated towards her couch and fell asleep after five minutes of catching up. So later, if your cameras are still rolling, I will probably be sleeping right here. <laughs> You've seen her do this? Yeah, and it makes sense because she's always working. She's on a 24-7 clock. Just yesterday, I walked out of my room because he was talking to 
to his dad and then I walked into Rian's room because I wanted to give them privacy and I fell asleep. I don't even remember how I fell asleep. <laughs> I don't know if it's the jet lag, if it's her if it's her duvet or whatever, but it was just so comfy I fell asleep. You've been living in the Philippines for how long? Um, I Away moved from, here. From I moved here permanently at the age of 15, so like 13 years okay. already. Do you miss her? You know, we're always just traveling. As long as we're in contact through video call, I see us making it through. Do you yeah. have like a family chat, Zoom thing once a week? Me, him, and my older sister, yes. Okay. Yeah, we yeah, it's just always been me communicating with my sisters when I need advice, when I need to work on myself. You know, they're just always there for me. Did he go there to support you? Oh yeah, he was in El Salvador. He's fluent in Spanish. I heard you learned Spanish just I to be able to did. communicate. With I mean, I'm not fluent like my brother, but I did learn to get me by. So, and perfect accent according to thank Spanish you. speaking Diane. Thank you. I have Coach Irwin to thank for that. Thank you so much. And also Abraham, he's the one who taught me Michelle Marquez de Estoy representando de las Filipinas. That's, that's wow. Abraham. I like the Filipinas. That thank you. Perfect. Thank you. I mean, that's just Very a smooth. testament to how I was really a perfectionist with my whole journey, even down to what I was going to say in the stage. Diva. Yeah. That's the way it should be done, but I hope you don't give those secrets away. So how did you feel when she was not in the top five? I felt that it had a lot to do with organization and everything like that. By the end of the day, we know who the winner was. Okay. And, and, <laughs> and deep in my heart, you know, I would have loved to see her just drop the mic on those questions. But you know, destiny presents itself to her being the most popular Miss Universe. You know, to me, you're like Princess Diane. You know why? Because she never became queen, but she's always been called the queen of the people. And you are the Miss Universe of the people, not just the Philippines, but the world. And on that note, we will end our interview. Thank you so much thank for giving me time. Thank you, Avery, for being good sport. And we really all hope that he will stay because you will add so much to the excitement of the Philippines. Thank you for the video. Thank you. Bye. What are you doing? What are you doing? You merit Avery when you talk to him. That's what happens. You're the queen. You're the queen. You're the Miss Universe of the people, but he is the crush of the Bayan at the moment. Oh, yes. and intelligent crush of the Bayan and mature also, diva right? Good boy, pa. Bye, everyone. Thank Bye, you. Everyone. Don't remember to what? Subscribe. Choo -choo. Remember to watch, like, <laughs> click that notification bell. You know the whole drill. Okay. See you guys next time. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>